These are expensive. I've never seen anything like this before. That's like super extra, but also like I'm super extra, so little chairs and these are my favorite because they literally last forever hello everyone what is up and welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi my name is Katie I live in Orlando and I make shopping and shop with me videos home decor and home decorating DIY videos so if you love stores like Target home goods TJ Maxx Kirkland's world market if you love clearance and bargain hunting you will absolutely love it here so please be sure to give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you you are interested in getting notifications every single time I post a new video four times a week today we are shopping at home goods and I will be honest I have not been in a home goods in probably like two or three weeks which is a really long time for me last time I went I just like wasn't really feeling it like I feel like they're kind of in this weird in-between phase where they probably have a lot of Christmas stuff in the back and they haven't put it out yet I don't know they could have some stuff I did get a message saying that someone found or bought home goods Christmas items this week so I'm hoping they will find some Christmas decor but I want to go in and look at the furniture just like a good old classic home goods shop with me so you can see what you could potentially find at a home goods near you this week we will take a look maybe at some Halloween and fall decor depending on what we find I'll show you anything I find that kind of like strikes my fancy but that is what we are up to today just a good old-fashioned home goods shop with me on this Saturday morning thank you guys so much for spending this time with me and shopping with me if you're excited just stay right where you are because we're gonna head inside right now okay so I did a little bit of like a look around and I don't see any Christmas stuff which I'm a little bit bummed about because I'm ready but I know a lot of people are not ready and I know it is coming very very soon but first we're gonna start in the home decor section and see what's new over in like the furniture I am looking for a few different furniture pieces for my loft makeover so want to kind of take a look what they have around there also looking for my dining room makeover there's lots of makeovers in the process right now so we're gonna start there and then we will take a look at some Halloween stuff because I see some really fun stuff that I haven't seen before I first off really love this black wooden bookshelf like you can see that it is solid wood it's $250 it's a made in Mexico item and a bookshelf is something that I'm looking for for one of my makeovers so this could definitely be a contender I need to measure it but I really like this pro tip you can bring your own measuring tape which I normally do but I forgot mine today but you can always ask them for one I've noticed they have so many accent chairs today. These ones are really cool. They have like wooden detailing with cane all on the sides. These are expensive. This chair is by a brand called Four Hands and it is a high performance fabric, which is really, really nice. These are $1,000 a piece. That's a lot to swallow for an accent chair, but they are very nice. I really like this console table. This is $400. I like the rope detailing on the front. That's super unique. And then it has gold hardware and it's a nice like cool toned piece of wood, but not like gray at all. It's just not filled with like those orange and yellowy tones that you can see a lot here. So I really like that. Look at this rug right here. I think that um, those people are gonna buy it, but it's so beautiful. It's $300. I'm, I am in love with this rug. Okay, they walked away, they didn't buy it, and I just dug through all the rugs to find it again. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. So up close, it's actually kind of like a lavender-ish purple color but from far away it kind of looks like a taupey beige color I don't know why but this is just the most beautiful rug I've ever seen at home goods it is an 8x10 rug and it's $300 this is the brand if anyone else is like as in love with this rug as I am but I'm just gonna back up one more time to give you the full picture I don't know why I just think it's so pretty <laughs> I love these chairs they're performance fabric again they're 149 a piece one of them is on clearance though for $99 so there might be like a rip or a tear it's just so crazy how this like style has come back in so hot there are the legs under there so you could always like um, get it tailored or whatever like to remove that if you want to make it like more of a the more modern look that we've seen over the last few years but this is coming back in heavy home goods has so many of these big pots lately this one's only 60 dollars like this is i can't put my my hand so i'm gonna put my foot <laughs> like it's massive it's probably like three and a half feet tall and it's only 60 dollars. and look at the beautiful shape of it this is so pretty it is made in mexico they've had just the most stunning furniture pieces they had those two um cons or like bookcase type items that i was in love with a couple months ago 
This is $500. It's like a super nice, like solid piece of furniture. It's like a taupey grayish color, but I love like the black detailing. There is no glass though, so keep that in mind. It is just open. So that probably wouldn't work with the tiny grabby hands that we have entering our family in a few months, but I love this. Okay, they actually have like a bunch of these chairs. So if you're looking for a set, they have like two more over here, two more here for 99 a piece, which is a really good deal for a dining chair. This is super pretty. It's a very like transitional style piece. It has all the white and then the doors are like a really nice brown color and I love the black handles. This is 300, it's a handcrafted in India piece and it looks super solid. And I love like the window pane doors with the glass cause you could put some really nice decorative items in there. Here's that same bookshelf that I liked in black but they have it in white. And it's more of like a white wash, like they've sanded down some parts, so it's a little bit more rustic-y looking, but it's the same price, it is $250. I measured it and it's a little bit too short for what I need and too wide, so it won't work for me, but it's a really nice solid piece. Look at these cute little chairs. I'm just walking past the kids section. Look at that one, so adorable. It's like a little mini chair that rocks and it is $80. And then they have this one that's like a really pretty green. But like, look at all the cane detailing on the side. That is super adorable as well. That one's 100. I really like this shelf set. You could put a cushion on the top um, or use it for like more like kind of toy storage on the top. And then you could put like books and toys down here. Um, but it's a really pretty like sage green. And then I love the tone of the wood on the bottom. It's just some nice cubby storage. You could get cubbies for in there as well. If you could find like ones that, um, or like this that could go inside. Oh, hang on a second. They don't have like the perfect size. They have like shorter and then they have this round one, but like, oh my gosh, they do match really, really well though. So if you were trying to do this sage color, you could get like the bigger basket and use it as their hamper. Um, they just like have really adorable stuff. You could use this on a shelf somewhere else, but yeah, like if you were trying to incorporate the sage green color, these two items match really perfectly. I'm honestly not 100% sure yet what we're doing with the nursery. Like I definitely have some ideas. We have all of her furniture picked out. Um, just need to like get that ordered, but we have all the other like transformations and I've just been trying to focus on those and just take it like one project at a time. Um, but we are hoping to have her room done probably in like January and do a nursery makeover in January. That's what we're aiming for. Anyways, I got completely sidetracked looking at cute baby things. It's just so easy for that to happen. Ooh, I see some pretty mirrors. Okay, well, first of all, this window pane mirror, I bought one of these for my guest bedroom and I was like, guys, I think these are gonna be the next big thing and people told me I was crazy and now they're all over home goods. So glad to see these are popping up. This one is 149 and then I see one that I really love behind and it is this like black arched mirror. These are very, very popular. This one's 70 inches tall and 30 inches wide. It's a great size, and this one's 200. Alrighty, so that was a bunch of the furniture. I can't stop thinking about that rug. It's so beautiful. I don't think that the people that were standing in front of it ended up buying it, but I love it. So if I was in the market, I definitely would pick it up because it was so beautiful. Um, but that was a bunch of the furniture and the kids' items and some mirrors. I just like really wanted to like peruse around the different aisles, see what they have. And I'm, I feel like Home Goods is back, or maybe my love for Home Goods is just like, I just needed a break from Home Goods. So I'm back now, and I wanna show you some Halloween stuff because they have a lot of Halloween stuff, a lot more than they had when I was here like two or three weeks ago. I feel like they definitely got another shipment or something, but they have a lot of fun new stuff, so I wanna share with you a bunch of Halloween decorations and fall decorations too. Oh my gosh, I have a hard ceramic pumpkin, really similar to this. Um, with like the lashes, but do you guys notice what I see? The two Jack Skellington nose holes and then the like carved out mouth. This looks exactly like the Jack Skellington pumpkin that I just found at Walmart, but like they painted it differently. But then also like this ghost one, I just bought something just like this from Walmart. It's that like hard ceramic material. It's $34.99 here and I got it for $20 at Walmart so definitely something to think about but they have a lot of those like big hard ceramic pumpkins and these are my favorite because they literally last forever okay I definitely know some of you guys will get a kick out of this but it's like a skeleton with butterfly wings sitting on a pumpkin it is $40 
Um, it kind of has the like same vibes as that like gif. I don't know if any of you have ever seen it before, but it's like the skeleton that's like frolicking with like the wings on. I don't know. I'll have to see if I can like put a picture of it here, but this reminds me of that and I just think it's really funny. These pillows are really fun. They're like all gingham and then striped, but it's like a little pumpkin man. It's actually not little at all. It's quite large. This is $20, so a great price there. It's just like a friendly little pumpkin man pillow but it's huge. Oh my gosh, look, they have it in this color too. So like a sage pumpkin with like blue. Ooh, it looks like it lights up. He definitely lights up. He has lights in his eyes, if you can see that. So that makes it even more fun. It definitely feels like they like restocked all the Halloween stuff. Last time I was here, there like wasn't that much, but now it's like really, really stocked again. So I don't know if maybe they got like a whole new shipment but they have a ton of halloween decor again so if you were disappointed the last time you were at your home goods definitely come check it out again i felt like i had missed out on a lot of the halloween stuff because i had showed it in videos but i hadn't like purchased anything and then i came back wanting to purchase stuff and they didn't have anything so definitely check your home goods again if you went recently and you were disappointed because i'm very pleased to see that it's super stocked today that's super cool for like an entryway table it's a skull like a black skull and then it has this like big edison bulb so it's basically like a lamp but it doesn't have a lampshade i feel like that'd be so cool for an entryway table table that is $40 I love this if you have like a kitchen island um, tray like I used to have and I had a mortar and pestle in mine this is a really fun Halloween version it's like a super nice silvery skull and then it comes with like the bone on the inside that is so cool this is $16.99 absolutely perfect Halloween kitchen decor and they do have some stuff that like matches like right here they have this like skull cookie jar it's like super heavy duty that is $30 and they of course have like trays and these really cool bowls which are like huge pottery barn Halloween decor dupes Ooh, this is pretty it's like a little canister and it has these gold beads on the top Ugh. Things are always candles. I don't know why I get kind of frustrated when I open something and it's a candle. This is $12.99, but I really like the look of like the beads on top. I like the texture. Here are a bunch more little like pumpkin canisters, but they are all candles. This one has like a black candle inside. This one has like a nice metallic copper top. They have this black and white one. So tons of like pumpkin shaped candles. Ooh, I like this. I would have loved to have had this for my fall decor. It is a unscented, but made from real wax, like faux candle, cause it has like the little flame on top that you can just put a battery in. This is, oh, super overpriced. This is $24.99. So like, I love the idea of it and I'll be looking out for it, hopefully to hit clearance, but I would never spend $24.99 on that. I love, 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 love this. It's again, a candle, but it's like a wooden bottom with a clear top. It's a three wick candle super yummy like pumpkin spice scent i just love the look of it and you could always burn the candle and then like clean it out and reuse the container but any like candle that comes in like a wooden base like this like makes me really nervous even though it does have like the aluminum on the side i don't know it's just like it's, it's like a house fire waiting to happen definitely starting to see more like thanksgiving-esque items so they have like these owls, which are like perfect for after Halloween transitioning into like winter Thanksgiving decor. And then look at this, look at this turkey. This is nice, this is $19.99. I don't think I'll ever be someone who like decorates for Thanksgiving just because I'm already in like full Christmas mode, but I think it would be nice to have a couple pieces like this that you can like incorporate into like your kitchen around Thanksgiving weekend. But also that's like super extra, but also like I'm super extra, so. It's something I would do. Um, this garland is super adorable. It's like these nice neutral beads with these like um, woven acorns. It's a six foot garland and it is $16.99, but I like love the look of it. I feel like it'd be really, really sweet for like a nursery Christmas tree. Like if you were doing a little tree in a nursery, I feel like this would be super adorable, especially because they always have like little acorn hats and outfits for like newborn shoots. I don't know, just makes me think of that. Okay, this is fun. It is like a faux plant for inside your house and it's all black. And then I just noticed it has 
little like orange lights all over it so that's super fun you can plug it in and it lights up so if you have like a lot of faux plants around your house and then you really love to get into halloween decor this would be a really like cool thing to pick up this is something that would most likely last a really really long time and it's only 80 dollars, and it's tall it's probably like six feet tall so it's a super good size okay a halloween doormat is not something that i have yet and they have some fun ones here i like this ghost one a lot this one is 14.99 but they have like a lot of fall ones too like leaf shaped ones so they have a huge mix of like fall and halloween and apparently summer wait hang on what is this one it says that this one lights up this is a light up doormat i've never seen anything like this before it says boo it lights up oh my goodness this is 24.99 and i guess it has like little lights in here that is fun one thing that's minorly concerning is that it comes with like this huge list of instructions mostly because it uses button batteries and those are like a huge 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 safety hazard to children and babies and pets but this is really fun i have truly never seen anything like this and i think it's a really great find i just noticed that there's like a bunch more right here so they have like a bunch of them. So they have this ghost and bat one and there's lights in all of their eyes, which is really cool. Then they have this one that's purple that says boo. This one that says trick or treat. So they have like a bunch of these light up doormats. There's actually not really a long line at this store there normally is. So I kind of wanted to take a little perusal of what is in the checkout line. So I feel like they always hide lots of awesome stuff over here. So they have more like turkeys. They have these really cool like gourd looking, just like decorative items, which is nice, these are perfect for fall and straight through Thanksgiving. This one is a really good size too. This is $14.99. Ooh, yeah, like this is a perfect like fall thanksgiving -y item that you could just put out, you know, like right around Thanksgiving. This is $7.99 and it's just like a gold turkey on a pumpkin. I really, really like that. I love this for Halloween. Also for like New Year's, it's like a sparkly, it's like a sparkly black and silver like floral arrangement. It's $14.99, super easy to just like change out any fall arrangements that you have. They also have this one. It's like a glittery eucalyptus. That is so fun. I really feel like this is where they hide all the good stuff. Here's another cool one. It's just like a succulent in a velvet skull head. Sadly, it is missing the price, but it's probably like five to seven ninety nine price range these beaded skulls are really cool it's for 12.99 they have black and then they also have this like pearlescent pearly white one those are really really cool like i didn't see any of this stuff over in the other section definitely make sure like if there's no line come check the checkout line well alrighty you guys thank you so much for shopping with me today i really hope that you enjoyed today's video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell be sure to let me know what was your favorite items that i found down below in the comments as always thank you so much for shopping with me i love you all so much i appreciate you being here i'm so humbled that you choose to spend your free time with me i love you all so much and i'll see you next time bye guys